Hi guys. Today I'm going to read you a story called April Foolishness. Because guess what? Today we started a new month. And that month is hmm April, you're right. And today is April the 1st. April the 1st, 2020. Just like we talk about on our calendars. And does anybody know what sometimes we say that today is? April Fool's Day. That's where some people like to play tricks on people on April Fool's Day. But not really mean tricks, just kind of silly tricks. So this story is about a family that is trying to play April Fool's tricks. So let's see what happens and let's think. While we're reading, let's see if you think the little boy and little girl are actually playing an April Fool trick or if they're actually telling the truth. But remember that if we are trying to be tricky and we play lots of April Fool's tricks, then sometimes people aren't gonna trust us and they're gonna say, you're just playing an April Fool's trick. So remember, don't be too tricky and it's only on April Fool's Day. So April Foolishness by Teresa Bateman, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. And I have another little helper today, so he might answer some questions with us. April Foolishness. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned, for the grandkids had come for a stay. And wouldn't you know it, they picked the right day. April Fool's Day. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. And the goose said, the cows are out. So, Grandpa, does he look worried? No, I bet he thinks they're just trying to April Fool him. Imagine, said Grandpa, good gracious, alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. Grandpa, Grandpa, the chickens are out. What do you think? Is they April, are they April fooling him or are they telling the truth? They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. <gasps> hmm. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. Grandpa, Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. <gasps> They're in the tomatoes, oh hurry, don't wait. Oh no. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out some bacon. Grandpa, Grandpa, the goats are all freed. Grandpa still doesn't believe them. He thinks they're still April fooling him. I wonder. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Ew. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. What do you think? Hmm. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast and said, Grandpa's not worried. Then Grandpa appeared. What a hoot hullabaloo. What's causing this noise? The grandkids are you. It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. So he says they're just trying to trick him. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandpa, you'll find to your sorrow, it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. That's what Grandma said to Grandpa. Look, Grandpa jumped up. He said, oh no. 
Then Grandpa turned red and gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called. April Fools. So. And then she made him some more breakfast. So were the kids really telling the truth? No, they were April fooling him. But were they being the, being mean and lying about it? No, they were just trying to have some fun for April Fool's Day. So remember, if you do April Fool's Day, don't be mean. Make sure you just be a little bit silly tomorrow, today, for April Fool's Day. Thank you guys, I hope you all have a great day. And you too.